What's up, y'all? Right now, I'm just doing a training session. Um, it's been a while since we just had a, like a winter storm, and they let us. The storm pretty much kept us indoors for like a week, and this is like my first time out in like five days. So I had to get this, some touches on the ball, and basically what I'm doing is you know dribbling, um, small dribbling stuff, small spaces, and uh, ball mastery. And a little bit of juggling just to stay familiar with the ball keep myself you know soccer shape almost so yeah right now what i'm doing i'm just dribbling just made a little dribbling drill just keeping the ball tight to my body and just following the pattern um just made it up on the spot something simple anyone can do um yeah Next drill I just did, just dribbling around two cones. It was really basic. You know, one round did right foot, one round did left foot, and then one round did both feet. It's really simple. Just keeping, keeping the ball tight to my body and using small touches. And then right here, just a little bit of footwork, um, just with two cones, just Pretty much high knees over the two cones and then I did you know this type of footwork too just moving my body with small feet around two cones staying agile then I started to juggle um, it's been a while so I juggled for a little bit so I just juggled to a hundred just to keep the ball keep the ball up And that's my friend in the background. He, he's like a runner. He likes to run a lot. We did like a track workout before this. So, yeah. His name's Aaron, by the way. And then right now, you know, some pullbacks, V pullbacks. Everyone has done this. Just, you know, get familiar with the ball. Definitely just. And then I did in and outs with both feet. Just keeping it simple. If you have any questions, just um, comment down below. And I did this ball mastery drill. This is like my favorite ball mastery drill I do all the time. It's really good, I believe. It just keeps me really reactive with the ball. and just It's a different type of pattern to work with. It's really good. So if you haven't done this, definitely give it a go. And then I started, you know, making up some ball mastery drills. Try to do the L pullback with both feet. Even if you mess up, just keep on going. So in this drill, I just did a step over this time. <sighs> yeah, I messed up a few times with the step over. I wanted to show you guys that, you know, I'm a, I mess up too. So just trying to improve, trying to get better. You know, it's been a week. Oh yeah, the reason I'm out here because I have a tryout coming up that's why I'm trying to train and get some touches in it's really important so and then I just did some basic dribbling with, you know a few cones in a straight line right now I'm just doing right foot and then I go to left foot keep the ball tight and small I did three rounds of this it's a really good workout um, Pretty sure everyone's done this, but it's always good to keep on doing the basics. And then inside of the foot, using both feet, really simple. It's really good for you. Then I did it. It's my favorite one. It's in and out. You know, outside, inside, outside, inside, using both feet. It's really good. And then I did for the next one, only outside the foot. 
So yeah, the outside of foot only, just working on my touches, keeping it really small every time I touch it with the outside of my foot. And then rollovers. For the last one, I did rollovers. So keeping it really simple. And that's pretty much my training, training session. Hope you guys liked it. Comment down below and thank y'all.